Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Fire! Missiles have become an essential part of modern warfare. In that sense, they are not only state-of-the-art weapons, but require similar levels of technology to counter them. Developing a system that can intercept rockets, artillery, and mortars as well would be worth its weight in saving lives. Systems such as the CRAM are genius in the sense that it stops most incoming ballistics at low cost. When US forces in Iraq began to face a significant threat from insurgent fired rockets and mortars, they sought a solution that could intercept and neutralize these projectiles before reaching their intended targets. Research and development by weapons manufacturers led to the development of the counter-rocket artillery and mortar system, also known as CRAM. This weapon has different concepts and ideas in other countries. Hence, we will refer to CRAM as the US solution for this video. Also known as counter-RAM, the CRAM is a set of systems used to detect and or destroy incoming rocket, artillery, and mortar rounds in the air before they hit their ground targets, or simply to provide early warning. One of its characteristics is that it is air transportable. What I've got behind me here is a land-based phalanx weapon system. It's a 20 millimeter Vulcan cannon designed to engage and destroy incoming indirect fire threats, mortars, rockets, artillery shells. The land-based Phalanx Weapon System, or LPWS, which is part of the CRAM system, is a highly adaptive and rapidly deployable defensive tool. It delivers a high volume of accurate fire to neutralize threats using a radar-guided 20mm Gatling gun mounted on a swiveling base. Because of its small size, the system can be transported by C-130 aircraft or heavy expanded mobility tactical trucks, better known as HEMTs. The logistics of running an LPWS necessitate careful planning for placement. ammunition supply, and maintenance. Its small crew makes it efficient in terms of manpower usage. LPWS is an essential component of layered defense systems, helping to ensure the safety of military installations and personnel. Having it easily transportable makes it ideal for quick deployment. Capable of firing at a rate of 75 rounds every second, the LPWS is more than a match for any type of incoming indirect fire projectile. The CRAM system's land-based phalanx weapon system operates in a multi-stage process of detection, decision-making, and interception.
Radar systems constantly scan the environment for incoming threats, which are then routed to the Engagement Operation Cell, or EOC. The EOC is the central hub in charge of verifying threats and determining appropriate response measures. In the event of a confirmed threat, the EOC contacts the Point Control Point, or PCP, which is in charge of the weapons system. When the PCP receives a fire command, it aligns the weapon with the threat and deploys countermeasures. The outcomes of the engagements are then evaluated and additional actions are taken if necessary. Regular maintenance ensures the system is always ready, resulting in an efficient and quick response operational setup. Engagements are a lot of fun. Being able to see those on our FLIR, our forward-looking infrared camera, and finally getting able to see the fruits of your labors when you finally shoot down that, that mortar rocket, that, that's the best feeling ever. A close relative to the LPWS, the Modular Automatic and Network Capable Targeting and Interception System, or Mantis Air Defense System of the Bunswer is designed for close and very close range combat, primarily targeting drones, rockets, or grenades. The system comprises a command and control center, gun units, and sensor units. Mantis primarily protects facilities and objects, particularly field camps, by continuously monitoring the airspace and tracking targets up to 20 kilometers away. The air defense guns can rotate 360 degrees and have their barrels vertically aligned between negative 15 and plus 85 degrees. The cannons are 35 mm revolvers. Their advanced hit efficiency and destruction, or a head ammunition, is a type of airburst round that deploys a cloud of sub-projectiles just ahead of a target, allowing it to engage conventional as well as low, slow, and small air threats such as unmanned aerial vehicles, as well as perform counter-rocket artillery and mortar duties. The Mantis system demonstrates its powerful defensive capabilities with a firing rate of 1,000 rounds per minute and a range of three kilometers against indirect fire ammunition targets. The 35 mm revolver cannon's advanced calibration capabilities ensure they can effectively counter threats from any direction. It's a reliable line of defense against aerial threats. Another leader in the air defense and missile industry is Raytheon Technologies. Raytheon Company was a major defense contractor and industrial corporation based in the United States, focusing on weapons and military and commercial electronics. Raytheon Technologies was formed by a merger of Raytheon and United Technologies Corporation in April 2020.
missile defense systems such as the Patriot and SM-3. Precision weapons such as the Tomahawk cruise missile and advanced radars and sensors for aircraft and maritime applications are among the company's key products. They are well known for producing high quality aircraft engines under the Pratt and Whitney brand, as well as avionics and airborne systems. Its Collins Airspace Division is a global leader in technologically advanced and intelligent solutions for the aerospace and defensive industries. Raytheon is also responsible for the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, or CIWS, based on the American Sea Ram. Phalanx is installed on various U.S. Navy U.S. Coast Guard, and some classes of other ships operational with NATO and U.S. allies. The Phalanx CIWS employs a semi-automated reloading process that begins with the operator shutting down the system and securing it for reloading. Then, an ammunition loader system raises a new canister of 20 millimeter rounds to the CIWS's ammunition handling system. These rounds are then automatically delinked and fed into the system's magazine, which can hold up to 1,550 rounds. The loading process takes several minutes, and once the system confirms a successful reload, it is ready to be restored to operational status. To ensure successful reloading, proper maintenance, supervision, and safety protocols are followed at all times. Multiple steps are involved in testing the failing CIWS beginning with system inspections and preliminary diagnostic tests. These are used to ensure the system is operationally ready and detect any problems. An operator starts with the system's built-in test function to inspect the radar system, ammunition feed mechanism, and overall operational state. Before proceeding, any issues that are discovered are addressed. Following that, a non-firing tracking exercise, also known as a dry run, is performed in which the system is trained to track simulated targets without firing rounds. These may also be performed against actual aircraft or fast-moving surface vessels. The testing procedure concludes with a live fire test in which actual rounds are fired at drone targets. Another type of close-in weapon system is the RIM-116 rolling airframe missile. The RAM Mark 31 guided missile weapon system or GMWS, comprises the rolling airframe missiles, the Mark 49 Guided Missile Launching System, or GMLS, and support equipment. Typically, the missile is transported to the launcher system using a designated hoist, ensuring its security and integrity. The hoist, which is a forklift or winch, lifts the missile behind the launcher tube. The ram is then gently pushed into the launcher's tube, ensuring that the guide lugs align correctly with the grooves in the tube. Once inside, it is secured and ready to be launched when commanded. 
Right five degree rudder? Right five degree rudder eye, sir. Vessels such as the USS Carl Vinson Nimitz-class aircraft carriers utilize ram missiles for their close-in protection needs. These missiles are often tested in what are called composite unit training exercises. Moments before launch, the cover of the launcher is ejected and the RIM-116 is launched. Because of its rolling airframe missile, it only has two control canards because its rolling airframe allows it to maneuver three-dimensionally. Its solid fuel rocket boosts it to the speeds of up to Mach 2, from where it is able to engage targets at ranges of up to 6.2 miles. It is guided by means of either passive infrared, radio frequency, or a combination of the two. It has a 95% accuracy and destroys the target via 24-pound high-explosive blast fragmentation. From the highly reliable phalanx in use with both the U.S. Army and U.S. Navy to the Mantis, which operates to protect German forces. Counter-rocket artillery and mortar systems are here to stay and will only get better. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.